All right, well, we have one of our, one of our uh, very prominent hidden bosses, Valadin, uh, versus Light, coming all the way from Germany. Karen win your semis for from here on out. Things will be best of five. Yeah. So I just want to see, like, how that jump steady practice is coming. For Valadin? Yeah. Yeah. Did he, be, did he knock out Valadin? No, right? No, he didn't. What? He didn't knock out Valadin, right? No, no, no. No, I mean like they've played like yeah, a yeah. couple times, I imagine. Um, sometimes at USC at the really? the weekly, yeah, oh, okay. so the bi-weekly. So he's definitely no stranger to this matchup. No, no not that much. Not by know. not by a long shot, but I'm not gonna tell you like, oh yeah, he plays jump studio like on a regular. Right, no, right. he was playing him before for Got sure. It. That's the problem where like Lucy you know might lose this matchup here is in the low recovery. Because uh, Nair will just stuff it out, and then that will get up from Valetta was the greatest option. If there's anything I've learned from watching Light play, I would just always opt to do jump. Because yeah. it looks like this guy is always trying to cover roll and center get up with f -Smash. I think that's all. Yeah, f Smash is really good. Because it's got good spacing, and it's got a win box. You have a terrible recovery. Just called out that aerial. That was good back air, and he tried to capitalize off of it. Like, mm -hmm. the, the distance he had him at was pretty good. Oh, no, he he had a grab. Yeah, he yeah. had a grab. Okay, I'm sure. Go. He has to go low. Okay, this is what I mean. Just jump. Yeah, I was exactly. gonna say just this jump. is this is where people just and, jump. And even then, Ly like looked at him. He's like, please do it. <laughs> and then he stopped. Exactly. Tell him just just jump, and you'll never do it again. If Conditioning, anyone, man. This is why people wear head and shoulders. Yeah. If anyone ever goes for like a hard read, assuming they're not just randomly throwing shit out, hoping that it works, it's because like they've seen you do something so many times that they're that confident that it's gonna work. The yeah. fact that he went for up smash the first time should be telling uh, a lot. And okay, he's on. Uh, he thinks I'm gonna do center get up. He's gonna do roll. I need to just not do those things that often anymore, so he doesn't feel confident. Anymore. Yeah. Oh, that was a really good corner carry from Valadin. He's down two stocks though against Light, and Light's gonna just go ahead and send him to like the, the damaging cutscene. The damaging cutscene. It's like a cutscene where like your opponent just fights you, and then yeah. you just damage and you take it. You think you're winning, but no, they're winning. Uh, he needs to be careful. Oh, okay. Oh, good tech, Chase. I like it. Just and, uh, didn't see the tech, but he went for the follow up after the get up. Oh, he knew he was gonna. Hit. That's the thing too with this matchup, like. Palutena just does a wondrous number to like loosen his low recovery, and she has to go low because she doesn't have that much of a great vertical recovery. Oh, so he keeps like Lucina's really good at ledge trapping, but he keeps he keeps dropping it. Yeah, yeah, he keeps respecting like too much, and this is just the the what was it? Who did Muffin lose to again? Uh, I thought no, he no, won. No, 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 never mind, never mind. This this was just uh, the Tabasco like thing earlier. Where yeah, he just kept respecting and kept backing off. And that's kind of one of those things I tell people, like, loose, like, Palutena, the most she can get all, go for is for a forwarder from the ledge. Or a back air. And even then, that causes her to go for an aerial. So you kind of have to know when she's setting up there. If she has that middle level of the edge, that means she's setting up for forward air, back air, probably an empty hop to go for a, a grab. So your opponent just gives away a lot if they're just going to stand there in one spot. Please just jump. Yeah. Defense, he jumped. He jumped. He did jump attack. If True. Would jump. If you would, yeah, because he could react to directional air dodge. Because the other thing that I've learned is the counter. Was a. As a reminder, the bar and concession closed in 15 minutes. Time is it? Once again. Oh. Okay. So. And friends. I feel like I'm going to do this one. I'm going to just wait for the announcement. Yeah. Please ask them. At 9.59, to make the most complicated order you can think of. I know, I thought it was over too. Alright, anyways. Okay. Announcements aside from the venue. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, that's like Disneyland when you're trying to dip and then they were like, <laughs> they just give you the whole like jig and roll. Of like, alright, cool, man. So we're going to close the park in like an hour. And they don't even give you the whole thing. They like tell you a sentence, wait 10 seconds, then tell you the next sentence. And yeah. Keep going. Like, no, and they got to you in Spanish too. Mm. I love hearing the announcements in Spanish. All right, well, I love it when Vladin goes for a downside at the ledge because that was really well placed. Okay, yeah, so he's ah! playing a lot more confident now. I don't know what happened to him last game. 
But he definitely is playing a lot more confident now, which is good, because that's what you need. Yeah. Especially when you make it to this far in bracket. He's probably telling himself, like, this ain't no jump steady. This ain't no jump steady. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no jump steady. Oh, that was good. That was actually really good. And great delay from the get up option, because wow. he, if he would have gone. Gone for a uh, get up, yeah. He could have gone for like a fair or something, though. He's so high up. Oh, what? what? Yo, man. What? He was playing ping pong. He was like going off the off the backboard. Okay, here goes. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. He just needs to do that more. First hit him there into forward smash. He just needs to like not let go of the stage. Even if he doesn't hit him, just him being there is enough to scare light. Which is what got him that conversion. Well, Lucina wants to in general center stage because she can just wall you out with her, with her great aerials. Great hitbox. Oh, that was good. So she wants center stage to push you off. Ooh. Okay, just try. Oh, watch! The, I was gonna say watch the direction of air dodge because the light could have actually just caught that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he has to go low. He has to go low. Well, the right. one thing that light is doing right now, over line that he's adapting, is every time. Well, Vladimir wants to make the high recovery. He goes high with him. Oh, yeah. Almost gets the right bear. He's he had... good, 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 good. Oh, oh, no. I feel like he buffered that. And that's how I got a directional on dodge. Yeah. It's a very just common smash thing. Like, anytime we get hit off stage, our immediate instinct is tech just in case. Mm -hmm. But, like, that's a mindset, like, in ultimate, you have to get your mind out of Yeah, that definitely that, wasn't that's how you thing. know your opponent has that much faith in himself. Just down smash is the usual. It's like one of her most laggiest smash attacks. Oh my god, this man just... Oh! Yo, man, there are kids still awake at this hour. Right. You a, didn't have to do that to him. He had a family. This is... This is yeah, he had a family. Okay. Yo, man, this is only game two, bro. This ain't game three. This ain't a grand finals reset. Okay, okay. So, yeah, it's, it's exactly kind of like what you're saying. Also, it's also kind of applying in the neutral though. He's kind of just jumping with a lot into like he knows like when he wants to jump and stuff. He knows. See, I say these things in commentary, but then when I play the game, my mind just brain farts. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like okay. I, I turn into intellectual pa Patrick when I'm doing like commentary, but then when I'm playing bracket, you're him sitting on the floor with like the nail. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. pinhead Larry. Pinhead Larry. Three points. Two points. Okay, so the biggest thing, honestly, is if he's pressuring his shield, he should just respect it more and, like, just jump away. Yeah, I did oh. like this choice from Aladdin because forward tilt's really good at that situation. If he had just spaced himself a little Ooh. bit more... Ooh, that was so good. He, yeah, he would have gotten him, but nonetheless, man, he sends a down air, and a down air, that sends a message to life. Mm. I'm not going down without a fight. Yeah. I'm not going down 3-0. Maybe 3-1, yeah. but at least not 3-0. Yo, man. Hopefully. So far, he's got a really good lead, but we know yeah. what happens when your opponent adapts the lead. Good tech. The Latin doesn't even follow the tech chase, and okay. I would have loved to have seen him push more advantage here. Okay, good. So, I like what he's doing here. So, he's not trying to, like, punish him, like, out of shield as much anymore. Now you see that he's actually just backing off. Yeah, he's backing off. He's respecting the range. And then when he whiffs, it's when he punishes him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, look. He's backing off. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Fourth throw. Yeah, so he's made the adaptations. Just needs to not roll. Oh, yeah, don't that was roll, good. That was good. That was good. Okay, good, good. He didn't roll. I like that option. Right, yeah. I like it. He didn't want to face the, the grabs or at all, so he just went for the first hit of the airport. And that kills have the legend at those percents. Oh, but you. Oh, wow. That's the thing I'm telling you, dude. Light's so good at understanding, like, if you want to go high, go high. If you want to go low, go low. That was so scary. I thought I thought Vlad was about to lose the stock really early. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. Pilotin is, Pilotin is up. He's pretty good in range. All right. Fair oh, that was a good landing option. Down there. Nice. He wanted to, he wanted to capitalize off the uh, his, his stun. Oh, that was a bad jump. Fair dodge it. Oh no, Vlad! No. You went too early. Just air dodge it. Like. He has momentum too, but right now it's like even stocks. It's like virtually even. Because like you, you know, light was gonna go for like a down smash on the air dodge in, and it's really hard to hit it. Yeah. Oh, uh, literally, light put him into like 30, the 40% yeah, cutscene. He's, he's good. He's good. All right, he's good. He just needs to not overextend. Just up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. Mm -hmm. He has to react to his, his like his like his get up options. Like the whole point is, as long as he up tilts, he can't get behind him. Yeah. That's all that matters. That was good. He oh, actually okay, went good. for the second hit and he stopped himself because he knew that it wasn't going to connect. Oh. 
this is what I'm telling you. That spacing there allows you for forward tilt, and if you react properly, you can just go for a dash down. I'm sorry, uh, Dancing Blade. Good. Wow, no fear. All right. Yeah, forward tilt, that'll do it. That'll cut the ledge. All right, all right. So it's, it's literally like, as Martha Lucina, you have to really utilize like the spacing at the ledge because, how many? <laughs> um, the spacing at the ledge simply because like, you can go for forward tilt. You can go for you can go for like, uh, essentially what is like a pivot, dancing blade, mm -hmm. or or a grab, or a jab, or an up tilt, and like that's what you're really good at, at the ledge. It's like understanding the spacing that you have. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, like I was saying before, right? Yeah, he made the adjustment he needed to make. He's just backing off, respecting it more. Because um, the way Light was getting off a lot of his damage early on in the set was he would just capitalize off of a lot of overextending out his shield. Like mm -hmm. trying to punish Pilot when he had himself like space and position in a way where he couldn't punish it. Okay, he didn't get punished for that, that's good. This is the thing that Light does, does really good at is getting corner carries and then like for the Latin for him to respond and it's kinda tough. Mm. Okay good, so he hasn't cornered again. Alrighty. So you missed it. Um, Light was on top of the platform, trying to do auto ridicule. Didn't hit anything. Aimbot. Um, yeah. Valana was right below him, so he just did a turn around back here. I think I'm just going to stop calling it auto ridicule. Oh, no. Wow. That, that's really hard to tech, because he wasn't really ready for that at all. Like, the angle that he was set at? Yeah, it was, yeah at that point, it was it's, really Yeah, it's like, it's really hard to react. Oh, no. The longest cutscene in the game. Man, that's what it feels like to actually play World of Light. Uh, Doesn't feel like a game, just feels like a cutscene. You he have to wasn't watch. ready for that. He respected him too much. Oh, you have to. Yeah, he barely oh, survived. And you got the light, got the tech too at the right time. Don't back off. No, why are you backing off? Okay, you still got it, but. Please don't back off. Ah, right, oh, that was good. good. That was good. good. Hold your ground. The best part, too, is that he would punish light. He okay. knew he was going to come with an area off the ledge. Okay, good. He's. Alright, so he's backing off when like Light's trying to hit him, but when he's in the advantage state, he's learning now to like to stand his ground, mm -hmm. which is good. Like he's playing more confident. I like that. Just needs to keep it up. Alright, good. Oh, he oh, didn't okay. too. I was yeah, so yeah. scared. I was yeah, I was scared he was gonna roll in too. Mm -hmm. That's what he was looking for. Is he dead? Yeah. Okay. It's not even a E, that's just a general like. Yeah, that was just those. Okay. Okay, good. good. Comes out from. That's the first time I've actually seen Belana go for an aerial from the ledge. Oh, that's gonna be uh, something you take. Well, that was not a good trade. Good empty hops. I like it. Good use of them too. You could definitely go for a uh, oh, oh, grab. That was a good, oh, wow. oh, Belana, please. Okay, that's fine. Down throw, right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh, that was scary. He's playing literally the Latin is in such a scary situation with how we're lost. Okay, is. let's trumble. Wait, yeah, get the spacing first. That's one thing I want to see from Latin. Get the spacing first. <laughs> Don't just throw forward, though. Get the spacing first. Let's trouble. He just hangs by the ledge. He's like, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. All right, good, good. He so, he, he chose to keep up on the platform, and he he has like. Well, I had kind of been frustrated. He's like, I don't want to get forward tilted, and I don't want to get side B. And he kind of never respected the fact that Latin was setting up himself for spacing. And like I said, you always want to set yourself for spacing at the ledge. Like as a, as a Marcina main, like in general, like you just want to make sure you have that. Okay, so if I were light and it's game five, and it's against Lucina, I imagine. Okay, yeah, the stage makes sense. Because it was honestly either just this or just go back to town. What stage did they pick? I couldn't see. He he picked down Kalos. I was gonna say, yo, is he going back to Smash 4? I was about to say, if he picks Sheik, he actually just, oh my god, he's actually He's not throwing. throwing, bro, you never know. He's throwing. Sheik is high tier. People don't respect her. She <laughs> just needs one more buff. <laughs> he throws the 10. Sheik needs buffs. Okay. I don't know, bro, this character is ridiculous. Honestly, as 50 long 50 as 50s, come on, bro, that's not fair. Yeah, like. Can you imagine you toss a coin and you lose the stock? And Almost you lose the stock. <laughs> Well, that's what it felt like sometimes. Sometimes, right. no, no, that's an exaggeration. Okay, yeah, so, so far, the counterpick not really working out for him. 
it's kind of harder for Sheik because her damage output still isn't that great. Like, she has range in general and a couple other things. But, like, the damage output compared to Lucina is just not as good. Oh, that was good on shield. Yeah, just hold your ground. Yeah. That was good. Gets the spacing tool on the ledge because he knew if you want to go for a neutral getup, I can go for a dash grab. If you want to go for a roll getup, I can go for side B or forward tilt. If you want to go for a cross up, man, I got up to the floor and deal with that. Aerial forward air. A good way too, because he knew he's like, alright, hold on, I need to check what Vlad's gonna do before I go for an aerial. Oh, that was a good catch. Oh, he almost just finished this man. Bouncy Fish was not a kill, but it would put Vlad in such all a right, bad that state. That was good, that was good. So he's definitely caught on to his roll habit, that's good. Yeah, so like, as long as. Honestly, as long as Vlad just thinks jump from the ledge, what's she gonna do to kill? Yeah. Needs to be careful. Good attack. I like it. He actually probably tried to read the jump option or the jump in and the or the bouncy fish. Ooh, that was scary. Okay. <laughs> okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I, man. I, I suppose. He's about to get reverse 3 0 I'm letting you know right now. No, no, yeah, he, he definitely is. Should have just say Palu. Okay. But. <laughs> If it was just like a pixel closer, that would have connected. Okay, so Valadin at this point can sense his desperation. Like, he knows that if he gets close to him, he's gonna pick like a panic option. Yeah. Yeah. He just needs to stay at roll distance. He can cover. Yeah. yeah. He can cover like bouncing fish for turn in because a lot of Sheik's like to do that from the air. Yeah, because yeah, Light is not comfortable with the ledge. He's not. Good. One more up out of shield will do it. One more spacing too here from the ladder. I do like the fact that even though he's been missing these punishes from the get-up options, Ooh. Ooh. they're still good for Vladen to just let Light know. If you're going to go for an aerial, like, you have to understand uh, our catch on. Okay, I respect that though, because like, um, Vladen understood, right, that Light has to go in with an attack if he wants to take the stock. Yeah. So he was waiting for like the perfect upper, like the perfect uh, bad area. Yeah. A boy's popping off. <laughs> what is he doing? Do don't. Let me see. Let me see what's going don't on. Don't do it. What, what do I need? What do I need to see? Don't, don't roast him. Like, oh, I'll tell you outside. Why not? Like, if he does, like, I, I won't do it. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Here. Oh. Alright, coming back. Oh. oh, that was a good catch. That was good because he had to really go from that far. I think he wanted, didn't want to get hit by an arrow forward air, but eventually got caught by it. The Lion just needs like one person in there to have smash and he wins. Calling it right now, that's how he's going to do it. Far throw, bounce fish, oh my god. The fact that that connected actually surprises me. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Down throw, no, it goes forward throw, I like it. I just want to push him off stage, get control. Okay, good, good. I like that, I like that. He was making sure that he doesn't roll in, because as long as he keeps him stuck, any, like, stray hit aerial yeah. will That'll do, do it. the job. Yo, man, just like that, Vlad in reverse, three holes light. What? The future is not written. Just it, man. Oh, thank God. I was so scared they were about to start the 